Um, I think Ty has some things to say. Do you have anything to say about the wedding? Lit, bro. What was your favorite part of the wedding today? All right, that's <laughs> that's good. Jesse, I am honored to be standing here with you today. As expected, you look absolutely beautiful. I truly can't believe it only took 10 years to get here. You guys, we're here and they're married. This marriage is a decade in the making, but no, really, they started dating circa 2012. I'm going to hit call us outlaws. Remember, this has been 10 years, three months, and one day. Did you guys know the Coliseum only took eight years to build? But like they say, all good things take time. Uh, so <laughs> after... Go on. Jess, I, I kept it short, because it's 10 years. Okay. <laughs> So Jessie's one to prioritize everybody first before herself, everyone's happiness before hers. Jess is passionate, she's compassionate, she's thoughtful, she's generous, she's caring, she's kind. She's full of vision, style, and grace. But today, we get to honor her and put her first. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Ty Dolla Sign. You're one of a kind, and there's no one else in this world that I would want to marry my sister. I pray this handsome, kind, funny, hardworking, considerate, down to earth guy would one day be the guy that I'd be standing up here talking about, and my prayers were answered. I think the thing that amazes me most about Ty is his patience, selflessness, and perseverance. I mean, after all, he kicked cancer's ass. We are Wakuna King. Tyler, if I could give you a purple heart, I'd give you one for fighting that demon you had. And Jessica, you would get one also for the support and love that you gave your husband.
I'm really crying. <laughs> Hi. Beautiful. Hi. Oh, spin for me, honey. Why? Because. <laughs> Yeah, you can spin if you can. You're gonna get tangled up though. Look. What does it say? It says, I got you for the rest of my days. <laughs> oh. Tyler, today you become my husband. Standing in front of you in this moment is a dream I envisioned since I was a little girl. But this real life version is far better than all the ones I've dreamt of. There has been a number of instances over the past 10 years that assured me that you were the one for me. It became clearer and clearer by day as I watched you care for others, including me, more so than yourself. As a couple, you face more challenges and obstacles in the last year than most couples face in a lifetime. But I truly believe they've only made you two stronger. Not long ago, I spoke the following words. There is nothing you aren't capable of doing. The strength and resilience you maintain is truly admiring. Over this past year, you showed me that in sickness and in health, you will stick by my side. Even when I wanted to go alone so that I could play my harmonica, I promised to do the same for you. A couple months back, I was talking to Jessie on the phone and she was telling me all about the hiccups in wedding planning. There was absolutely zero no concern in her voice. She told me, quote, at the end of the day, all I care about is marrying Ty. And again, as a parent, you know that the one of the most satisfying rewards is seeing your child experience true love. Tyler, with you and the family now, I felt like I won the lottery. So, thank you. Now, like I said, 10 years, three months, and one day. Over the last decade, our relationship has turned into the greatest gift imaginable. I am so happy living this life knowing I have found my person I am meant to walk this earth with. My love for you is always flourishing. I also promise to stock the water bottles in the fridge and snacks in the pantry, label out and evenly. And I had to add that because I also promise to make you laugh and smile. I loved you 10 years ago and I love you even more today. I promise to love you and Nellie unconditionally for the rest of our lives. I have always been and will always be so proud of you. For as long as I live, these words will remain true. I can't wait to add more decades of life with you. I love you so much, Tyler McKay Creek, forever and always. May you both be patient without effort. May you be kind in word and deed. May you be strong in character and conviction. May you grow in faith, hope, and love. May you exercise wisdom and speak the truth. And lastly, may your love story be so sweet that you'll tell it for the rest of your life. I love you guys. Cheers. Life Church and by the state of Illinois. I am pleased to pronounce you husband and wife. Tyler, you may not be surprised. This wind's gonna kill you There's no 